Okay, for each of these parts, we have parts A through E. Each one we want to indicate whether it's a polynomial or not. And if it is a polynomial, we're going to indicate the degree in the A of N. So first, how do you know if it's a polynomial? Well, a polynomial, the values on the X, the exponents, they have to be positive integers, meaning it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. We can't have any fraction exponents, and we're not allowed to have any negative exponents either. So that's the first condition if you have a polynomial. Then the degree, once we determine it is a polynomial, is going to be the highest power that you see on that. And the A of N is the number that comes in front of the X that has the highest power. So let's go through these examples. Uh, and see if they're polynomials or not, then we'll indicate degree in the A of N if it is a polynomial. The first one, 3x to the first power, negative 2x to the third. Okay, well, this, all the powers are integers, and they're all uh, positive integers. We have no fractional powers. We have a fraction here, but it's not part of the exponent. That's okay. So is it a polynomial? Yes, this is. It is a polynomial. The degree is going to be the highest power that you see here. In this case, it's going to be 3. And the A of N, that's the number here that comes in front of the X with the highest power. It's the coefficient of the X with the highest power. That would be negative 2. You'll see where, where, what the importance of that A of N is later when we get into other examples. The A of N is going to become important later on. Okay, how about the next one? I have the square root of x minus 5. Now square roots, they can be written as fractional powers. So actually this can be written as x to the 1 half minus 5. That's a fractional power, so it's no. And so I'm not able to do these because it's not considered to be a polynomial. Okay, now this one. I have 5 over x squared, so it certainly looks like the square is going to be positive. However, remember that if you have an x in the bottom, it actually is a type of negative exponent. We can move the x up, and that's going to become negative. And so because I have a uh, negative power there, this one's not considered a polynomial either. We can just cross that out. Again, we can't do that unless it is a polynomial. Now let's take a look at parts D and E. Okay, so part D f of x equals 6. Okay, now I don't have an x term that comes after it, but remember, if you have nothing there, this is really the same thing as 6x to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1, so I could write 6 as 6x to the 0. So that's okay, that is a polynomial, because 0 can be included uh, for the exponents. You just can't use any negative ones or fractions. So the degree, well, since that's the only x that's there, your degree is going to be 0, and your a of n is going to be 6, because that's the only number that comes in front of the x that you have. That's the only term we have, is just 6 only. So yes, it is a polynomial. Now the last one doesn't look like the ones we've had before, so what you might have to do first is you may have to multiply it out. So we're going to uh, do FOIL on this, so I have x squared, we have a plus 5 minus 2, that's plus 3x and then minus 10. So by multiplying it out, we can see that we do have a polynomial because all the exponents, we have a 2 here, a 1, and there's no exponent in the 10 that's a power of 0. So this is going to be yes, that will be a polynomial. Your degree is going to be the highest power that you see here. The highest power is going to be 2, and the a of n is the number that comes in front of the x squared. Well, if there is no number, then that's going to be a 1. So in the future, you might be able to tell by looking at this that it actually is going to be a polynomial. If you look at the two x's, you can tell right away that we're going to multiply that together and we're going to get a power, of, a, a square power on that one. So you might be able to actually tell this right away without actually multiplying it what the actual degree is going to be. There's one x here and there's another x there. Um, add those together, you get a power of 2.